Welcome to a practice SAT math question from the geometry section. We want to find the perimeter of the isosceles triangle ABC if the length of AD equals three and the measure of angle BAC equals 55 degrees. We also want to round to the nearest hundredth. So to get started, because we have an isosceles triangle, the length of AB is equal to the length of CB. So the length of this side is equal to the length of this side. And from the diagram, we'll assume segment BD bisects angle B, and therefore it also is an altitude and bisects side AC. Meaning the segment BD divides the triangle into two right triangles, here on the left and here on the right. And the length of AD is equal to the length of CD. We're also told the length of AD is three units. So if AD equals three units, then CD also equals three units. And therefore the length of side AC is equal to six units. And we're also told the measure of angle BAC, or this angle here, is 55 degrees. So using right triangle trigonometry, we can find the length of side AB which will also give us the length of CB. And once we have the length of all three sides, we can find the sum to find the perimeter. So looking at the right triangle on the left, if we want to use 55 degrees in our trig equation, notice that three would be the adjacent side to the angle, and the unknown side, which we'll call C, since it's opposite angle C, would be the hypotenuse of the right triangle on the left. So using the given angle and the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, we can write a trig equation using cosine, since cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. Meaning cosine 55 degrees must equal the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, or three divided by C. Now to solve this equation for C, Let's clear the fraction by multiplying both sides by C. So on the left side we have C times cosine 55 degrees equals, on the right side C over C simplifies to one, so we have three. So now we'll divide both sides by cosine 55 degrees. to determine the value of C. We will have to round C to the nearest hundredths or two decimal places. So now we'll go to the calculator to approximate the value of C. Now it's important that we verify that we are in degree mode so we find this cosine function value correctly. So let's press the mode key. We're going to go down to the third row and highlight degree. So while it's flashing on degree we'll press enter and go back to the home screen, so second mode, and now we'll enter three divided by cosine 55 degrees. Running to the hundredths, C is approximately 5.23. So if the length of AB is approximately 5.23 units, then so is the length of CB, and therefore the perimeter of the isosceles triangle is equal to 5.23 plus 5.23 plus six. So the perimeter would be 16.46 units. which means our answer is D, 16 and 46 hundredths. I hope you found this helpful.